Rich, midway through AMA Expo West. Uh, the last time you and I talked, you were a working stiff like the rest of us. Now you're El Presidente. We are in such a transition in all of aviation. And it's kind of funny. So many of us who started with model aviation now look to the leadership in model aviation again as all of aviation is being transformed by products that started here, still reside here, and to a certain extent are being innovated within the consumer and hobby drone community. Talk about an interesting place to be. Absolutely. And, and as you know, I mean, model aviation has always been a seed ground for new science and technology in aeronautics and aerospace. And I think what we're seeing with this new technology today is just another advancement in the hobby for sure and, and eventually into a new industry of unmanned aircraft. AMA has always found a way to welcome and develop new technologies and finding a way for those enthusiasts to operate safely and responsibly. And that's our goal for this new technology. What do you think are going to be criticality one, two, and three items for AMA going into the year? Well, I think on the political front, the number one item is the FAA reauthorization bill that's coming up. Within the FAA reauthorization bill is the special rule for model aircraft, as you know, that they passed in 2012. And we believe there are ways that we can improve and strengthen and enhance that bill to clarify some issues that have come up and some misunderstandings of that bill. There's also the possibility and some threat that there may be other efforts to change it in ways that might be detrimental to the hobby. So we're certainly very watchful for that as well. Then as for an industry as a whole, I think our next biggest challenge is the public perception about the new platforms and the unmanned aircraft. I mean, there's a lot of concern about safety and these things operating in inappropriate manners and inappropriate places. And there's concern about privacy. Personally, I think that that concern is somewhat overstated, but when perception is reality, when people believe strongly in it. So I think the challenge for AMA and the industry as a whole is to properly present this new technology and the new opportunities and the new benefits it's going to provide to our society and to the average community. What are the things you'd like to be able to say to the FAA administrator going forward that uh, AMA wants to see on behalf of the aviation community? I think one of the first questions I would ask them is, how can we help you? FAA is faced with an extraordinary challenge. It's, it's unlike any other challenge in history in terms of the changing industry that they have to manage. And I believe strongly that in order for this to be successful, we need some true government and private entity partnerships. And AMA has always stood ready to work with the FAA on any of these issues. And since 2008, we've continuously been at the table, whether that's a aviation rulemaking committee, whether that's a task force, whether that's some other standards work group, we have always presented the organization as an organization that truly wants to be part of this, the solution and not part of the problem. What other partners outside in the Aeroverse, outside of the FAA, do you see being pivotal to the future of the model aviation community and what the model aviation community is trying to do both recreationally and the light commercial side that so many of them are getting involved in now? I think organizations like AOPA, NBAA, AUVSI, HAI, all of these organizations that are part of the aviation user groups and industry need to come together and, and we're not going to always be on the same page of all issues, but at least be shooting for the same end goal. We all look up when we hear things flying and I think that that's what binds us together is the love of things that fly. And one of the things I think as far as model aviation goes that gets forgotten is how much innovation actually starts at this level. The true innovative and inventive spirit that is done in garages and on workshops and in schools around the country. And what's exciting to us is to see how the youth has been re-energized. You know, all of the aviation organizations are saying the same thing about where is the next generation of aerospace science engineers are coming from? Where's the next generation of operators coming from, whether that's on board the aircraft or as a remote pilot? And I think that this industry is actually generating a whole new generation of youth that are getting involved. And it's a perfect storm. It brings together aeronautics, brings together computer science, and it brings together robotics. All things that youth are intrigued by. And when you put them together, we're seeing a phenomenal expression of interest and involvement. 
Finally, a couple days ago, we jointly announced the fact that our Airborne Unlimited program is about to grow a bunch of little kids. The first is the AMA drone report. So I'm going to put you on the spot. How can Aero News, Airborne, Aero TV, all of our folks do the job that you deserve and, more important, help build this community and grow the rest of the Aeroverse? Well, I'll be honest with you. I think you're doing a great job of that right now. And I would just say keep up the good work. If there's one thing I would add to that is continue to tell the story of, of how Mall Aviation has impacted and been, as I mentioned before, a seed ground for innovation in aerospace and aeronautics in general. And as many youth, as many people that are in their retirement years and looking for a great leisure activity, you know, send them our way because we'd, we'd love to share the hobby with them. Aero TV is brought to you by the dream is real, a truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics personal jet kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under hundred k Add instruments, upholstery, and paint and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero.